As you know, my name is Crimson the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue from day 15 of the 30 days hacker rank coding challenge. And today we are going to be talking about linked list. The task is this complete the insert function of your editor in your editor so that it creates a new node, pass the data to the node as constructor argument, and inserts it to the tail of the linked list referenced by the head parameter. Once a new node is added, return a reference to the head. Now, let me show, just show you how it goes. So let's say we have a linked list. First, we now have a node, a new node we need to insert into this linked list. So let me just use this. We have a new node we want to insert into this linked list. We have data, all right? So the first thing we want to do is that to check if there is a node already in the head. There's a, if there's no node in the head, we simply return this node by creating a new node equal to node using this data, the data, and just return the new node. If there is something here, so what we are going to do then is to, let me just explain to you. So what we are going to do is to set the current node. So we are going to say, node is equal to head so this node if so while this node is not null while this node is not null while node because now if we say node.head it means that it means that there's a node right here so while node.next is not null right while node.next is not null not none in case of python then what we are going to do what we are going to do at this point we now set the pointer to the next node and to do that you simply say if node.next is not node you simply say node equal to node dot next so what happens here is we simply move the pointer one step okay so at this point we move it one step and the next thing we are going to do uh yeah so it continues but when it comes to the point where node of next is null we are simply going to insert the new node all right so we are simply going to say node dot next is equal to this new node right here so you can just also create it like this node data, All right? And then we return the head. Remember, this is the same node equal to head. Okay, to make it a bit interesting, let's just write the program uh, and submit. <coughs> so this is where we are. So the first thing we want to say is if if the head is equal to none, we are simply going to say new node is equal to, or first let's just create the new node here. New node is equal to, is equal to node. We create a node using the data, all right? And in this case now, if the head is known, just return the new node. If head is known, return the new node. Okay. Okay, so this is what we have here. Um, why do we have this error? Ah, so we need to actually indent all this code. Okay, so else, if head is not null, we are now going to check if there is another node in front. So else, the first thing we want to do is now extract the, uh, the head. So I'm going to just, because we are going to now move it, with, with, we set a pointer to the head so that we can move it across. So let me set a pointer to the head. So this node now is like the current pointer node where we are going to now move next. So the head is at the, the, the first node is the head, but we are going to move it, move it across as we go. So while 
nodes. Let me just increase this a little bit. So while node.next exists, while node.next exists, so while there's a next node, we are simply going to move the pointer one step by, by saying node is equal to node.next. So when this loop terminates, what is going to happen now is we are going to then insert the node by saying node.next is equal to new node. Okay, so node.next is equal to new node, which is this new node we created right here. And then we are simply going to return head because the question requires that we return the pointer to the head. All right, sometimes linked lists can be a bit tricky, but let's see. Let's run this code and see if we have something. All right, so sample test case passed. Let me submit the code and let's see what happens here. So all the other three test cases passed as well. So I'd like to give you a big thumbs up if you've come this far. And also I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment below if this has been informative for you. And we meet in the next challenge, which is day 16. But remember, I'm kind on the Tech Pro and I'm always there for you.